Hey! Hi. How you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So, I'm going to reasonably assume you've already heard of and know everything about the day before. Now, this video isn't like every other video that's been covering the day before as of late. I have what some might describe as a hot take on the whole situation. I'm not here to regurgitate to you the story and history lesson behind the day before. Instead, I want to discuss with you all the very real and very disturbing issues surrounding this whole scam. Because, like YouTuber Level Cap Gaming put in the title of his video, the day before has set a dangerous precedent. Well, actually, quite a few dangerous precedents, in fact. Let's start with the most obvious one. The day before made over $7 million in revenue in its first three days of early access and sold over 200,000 copies. This game, which was an obvious scam, made evident by the first trailer alone, sold more copies and made more money than the majority of critically acclaimed and highly positively reviewed indie video games that released in 2023 alone. All of this success, despite the day before being sold on the back of fake as hell trailers, ludicrous promises, and a straight up refusal to showcase some raw, unscripted gameplay, or provide the public with an open beta test. Despite all of the obvious red flags, over 200,000 people still chose to give their money to this painfully obvious scam. Make no mistake, scam artists all over the world are looking at these numbers. They're looking at the success. Yes, indeed, the success of the day before. Almost $7 million made and over 200,000 copies sold within the first three days of launching into early access? Those are objectively successful numbers. Gamers, the gaming community have set the precedent and now scam artists all over the world will gleefully take part. If all it takes is some pretty graphics, flipping some assets, and constructing trailers that are so heavily scripted it's not even gameplay at that point, it's just a cutscene. Follow that all up with some vague promises with absolutely no evidence behind them and bingo, you got yourself a top seller on Steam in one of the most wishlisted games on Steam. I'm still fucking baffled that the day before was one of the most wishlisted games on Steam for multiple years in a row. It sucks. It's downright depressing, but this will happen again. Literally hundreds of thousands of people have no patience or self-control. And I hate to be cruel, but also lack common sense. We tell each other time and time again that if you want to see the video game industry improve and get better, then vote with your wallet and support worthwhile video games. Stop giving your money to companies that mistreat you, abuse you, lie to you. And yet here we are with the day before, almost $7 million made and over 200,000 copies sold. No, I will not let this go. I will keep bringing up these numbers. There are so many hardworking, incredibly creative, and passionate indie video game developers who are making brilliant works of art, quality products that are far, far more deserving of those numbers, of all of that success, of having all that money made, of having all those copies sold. And yet, these devs and their games are ignored while an obvious, blatantly obvious scam is allowed to flourish and succeed. Christ, not only are we going to see scam artists come out of the woodwork to capitalize on this new precedent set, but we are going to see innocent developers get caught in the crossfire. Because of the fallout of the day before, innocent developers that had nothing to do with this are going to see their upcoming projects be accused of being scams, of being the next the day before. Oh, what's that? You're making a zombie game? Careful everyone could be the next day before. What's that? You're making a new open world game? Everyone look out! Next day before. You're making an MMO survival game? Next day before everyone! This one's gonna be the next day before! I can fucking see the YouTube comments and the tweets in my head right now. 
It's a lose, lose, lose situation for everyone, because now any attempt at making an open world MMO zombie survival game is going to be met with a disproportionate amount of skepticism and criticism because of the fallout of the day before. These entire fucking genres of video game are now PR poison to indie developers for the foreseeable future. It just fucking sucks, man. It fucking sucks. In a year like 2023, where we have been showered in amazing, stupendous video games from both AAA, AA, and indie alike. And then here comes this goddamn scam and the mindless consumers that supported it to piss on our parade. And the entirety of the video game community and video game industry will be feeling the repercussions of this for years to come. And it sucks. There's no better way to describe it. This whole situation sucks. But this also begs the question, what was it specifically about the day before that appealed to literally hundreds of thousands of people. Despite all the obvious red flags that this game was a scam, people still wishlisted and bought this game in droves. But why? Because it was an open world zombie survival game? We have so many of those. It's not like this is an untapped market or anything. Of course there's DayZ, State of Decay, Dying Light, Days Gone. Was it because the day before was an open world survival game with PvP multiplayer? Again, we're not starving for options there. Please, for the love of God, don't tell me it's because it was marketed as an MMO. If that's the case, fuck it. I'll just rebrand my YouTube channel as The Gamertron MMO. Please give me all the money and views now. Thank you. Please, help me understand. If you purchased the day before, tell me why. What was it about the day before that appealed to you, that made you so confident that it was worthy of a purchase from you? Did you not find the trailers for the game to be suspect? Did you not find it odd that there was never a public open beta? Please, share with me your story, your perspective, if you are one of the over 200,000 people who bought the day before, share with me why you did. Don't misunderstand me, I'm not here to rub salt in the wound. I'm just genuinely curious. Let's try, let's at the very least try to get something positive out of the whole day before scam. Let's make this a learning experience for all of us. Granted, there are still quite a few who aren't going to learn any lesson from this whole debacle, and will proceed to wishlist and purchase the next video game they see with pretty visuals. But alas, we can only control what we have control over, obviously. And despite the repulsive scam that was the day before, 2023 was still an absolutely phenomenal year for video games, and don't forget that. Hell, the year is not even over yet, and we're still getting bangers. The Finals recently came out, and it's easily one of the best free-to-play multiplayer first-person shooters on the market. Warframe got its next and simply amazing free content expansion, Whispers in the Walls, and Ultra Kill, just as I was writing and recording this video today, got its next big content update in Early Access. Oh, and speaking of Early Access, Ready or Not finally left Early Access and is now fully released in its 1.0 version. And many are already proclaiming Ready or Not to be one of the best games of 2023, as well as one of the best tactical first-person shooters of all time. So there are still tons of great games to play and tons of great content to experience. So don't let the day before get you down. There's still a ton of fun to be had before 2023 this year comes to an end. Anyways, that's been a video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did indeed like the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. If you want to help out and support the video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, and maybe a few Discord servers. And if you want to help out and support me directly, please consider making a donation via the Super Thanks feature here on YouTube, or by clicking on the links and donating to my Buy Me A Coffee and Ko-Fi pages. Links are in the description down below. Anyways, once again, that's been a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all. Later.